What's up guys, Flickfy here, and today I have episode 59 of my York City career mode for you guys. And one thing to mention for this York City career mode, I'm going to try to keep uh, uploading these pretty regularly, maybe every other day, because I know you guys do enjoy these, and I haven't been too often in uploading these in the last week, so I'm going to try hard to keep with that routine. And on the alternating days, I'll just upload another one of my series, such as Subscriber Showdown or Original Squads, and hopefully that works out for all of us. And uh, let's move on to the episode today. We have our first match against Petersburg. And if you guys can remember to the last episode, we're on a three-game losing streak going into this episode. So hopefully we can turn things around and things were looking bright for us early. But unfortunately, Mukhtar was unable to finish that despite his clean breakaway through the defense and a really one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. But the keeper did come out on top there. And soon afterwards, we do concede the first goal of the episode through Boyd there. So at this point, I'm not really sure what to do, guys. Things just aren't working very well for me, and I don't feel like I'm playing any differently. It just seems like the computer is playing even better. You can see there, they make a perfect through ball, and they do manage to get the 2-0 lead before halftime. And I, I do get a little bit frustrated because of this, and maybe due to that, I do play worse. But I really try not to let that affect me. You know, I take the same techniques as I do. Like, I take the same techniques as I have when I had that six-game win streak, but things just aren't working for me. But one thing I have been trying to do differently is get more shots because, you know, the ball can rebound and we can get a lucky goal out of it sometimes. So you can see there, Jensen did take a shot. Unfortunately, that one was saved by the keeper and it went out for a throw-in, but luckily, things work out well for us. Bergamelli is going to find Sorrentino, who's really dragged down. That's a pretty clear penalty. And I think we have De Silva step up for the spot because he is in this match. He is back from injury as well as Mukhtar. And we're going to go ahead and switch to De Silva because he does have the best penalty stats. And I don't think he's missed yet this year, so I wasn't too uh, worried about this penalty. But you can see there, the keeper makes a great save. And that's pretty typical of what's been going on lately, guys. Nothing seems to be working for me. And you guys can see here later on the match, we get a clean breakaway. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time in the match to make it two goals for ourselves. So that was a little bit of a pointless goal. At least we get one back, though. So we're scoring some goals at least, but at the wrong time, to be honest. So we get the loss there in the first match of the episode. Jensen gets an 8.2 match rating. So hopefully he can go ahead and get himself some goals in future matches. And you can see there, West Brom actually wins the league title with like eight games to go. So that's a pretty ridiculous feat because they're like 30 points above everyone else. So West Brom's just been completely dominating in this league. And for any of you West Brom fans out there, I'm sure you're excited about that but there you can see Jonas Mukhtar gets a dead leg quad whatever that's supposed to be he just came back from injury so he's only going to be out for six days and at this point I decided to speak to the press because I haven't done this yet in my career but I think this is the time that I need it because I don't I can't remember uh, any worse losing streak than the one we're on right now we're on five games or four or five games at a losing streak at this point so we need to turn things around and this is a big opportunity for us to do so because we're playing West Brom, so they're dominating the league. And if we manage to beat them, that's really going to make a statement to the other clubs in the league that we're really a squad not to be messed with. And you can see we're still sitting fourth place in the league, so I'm kind of happy about that because despite having being on a five-game losing streak, we're still pretty sitting pretty high in the league. And West Brom nearly gets the first goal of the match, but unfortunately for them, it hits the post. And luckily for us, the game was kept at nil-nil. But soon afterwards, Morrison actually breaks through, and he goes near post on Joe Jerome, who actually got the start in this match because I have not been very happy with Daryl Byrne. Happened earlier in the season as well, where I decided to start Joe Jerome, and we started playing better. So hopefully things can go in a similar path. And uh, we go into halftime with a 1-0 deficit, and I do make some substitutions, hoping that th we can turn things around, but that was not the case again, guys. That's going to make it a five-game losing streak for us, and I was getting so frustrated. So I think I just stepped away from the controller a little bit, kind of regained my composure, and hope that I can maybe get a win in this last match. And for this last match, we do play against Ipswich Town, who are sitting 11th place in the league. So this is a team that we have to be beating. We have to turn this losing streak around at some point. And I really didn't play any differently, guys. I just figured things will turn itself around by themselves. And we do put out a pretty good starting 11, despite the fact that we are a little bit low on fitness because we had two matches pretty close together. But here, De Silva's going to find Jensen. And Jensen getting a really weak shot off, but somehow that managed to hit the post. I would have been so surprised had that gone in. But the game was kept at nil-nil all the way up to the 78th minute. Vadillo's going to do some skills. He's going to look for Jensen in the center. And despite three people being around him, he gets it in the back of the net. I was so pumped to get that goal, guys. And we do make some substitutions. They're bringing in Azoge, Sinclair, and Chikuchi, hoping that we can hold things off. And to be honest, guys, I just passed it around the back the last 10 minutes because I really needed that win. So a great way to end off the episode. We finally ended that losing streak. And I hope you guys are happy for that. 
that. If you did enjoy this episode, I'd appreciate a like rating or a comment or whatever you feel like I deserve. So if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave a rating. And anyways, this has been Flickfy. I'll talk to you guys again soon.